Hi, I don't know about you, but I am in need of a little adventure. Okay, everything has cooled down in Cornwall just a little bit. It's still quite muggy, um, but we've had some rain now and it's a little bit drizzly out there this morning, but it's actually really nice, but it is still really quite warm. You know, when you like do anything, move your body at all and you're like, oh yeah, it's actually quite hot. As you can see, that's me going around an air conditioned supermarket. Anyway, the shopping is done. The cupboards and fridge are full and I don't know who I thought I was kidding by trying to put them in the food cupboard because I'm obviously gonna eat them right now. Um, we are headed off to the land of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table and Merlin. We're going off to the very mystical town of Tintagel and we're gonna go and wander around Tintagel Castle. And it's gonna be, hopefully, it's gonna be really beautiful. I'm very much looking forward to this. It's the first time in a long time that I've actually wanted to go out <coughs> and just do what I used to do. Um, I've had a change in my HRT medication lately. This last increase in the estrogen has been massive. I'm so, so, so grateful that HRT <laughs> exists. So we are currently in Bodmin at Asda um, and I don't know, I think Tintagel is about half an hour away from here, I'm guessing, So, and I've got no idea which direction that's in, so I'm going to pop that into Google Maps and let the phone direct us. So I am here at Tintagel and I took a very interesting route to get here. Uh, I took one of the little Cornish lanes rather than what I presume is a more of a main road and it just made me think. Like, if you've never been to Cornwall before and you've never seen some of our crazy little lanes, honestly, if you were trying to get here in a motorhome or something, it would cause panic, I'm sure. Our lanes, I, if I'd had a camera, like, rigged up in the van, I'd be able to show you, but I don't have a way of doing that. I don't know how to do that, but I need to sort it out. So basically, our lanes are so narrow that you can fit a car through, and they're occasional passing places. They're really tall hedges, so you can't see over the top. Sometimes the trees go over, so you're driving through a tunnel, which is beautiful. And very often, like the one that I've just been down, there's actually grass growing in the middle of the road because it's so rural and it's not used very much. And sometimes your phone will take you down these roads and it's hilarious. But it did make me wonder, like, I grew up driving these roads. This is where I learned to drive on lanes like that. We live down lanes like that. So it's all kind of normal to me. But of course, if you're coming from a city or from overseas where I had a German boyfriend years ago who came to visit and he couldn't believe the hedges. Apparently in Germany, they don't have hedges like we do. Anyway, it's real funny. It was beautiful. Oh my goodness, it was such a lovely drive. Anyway, we're here. I was heading to a campsite here, very close to the town center, but I pulled into this car park because the campsite, like you book from like 1 p.m. or something. Um, and I've heard about these car parks in the town um, and they're really camper van friendly and have a look. So I'm like in this um, normal car park, but then behind is this field and it's got all these camper vans and motorhomes in. So I've actually just paid up to stay here instead of going to the campsite because I'm pretty self-contained um, and there are public toilets close by, by all accounts. So I can, number ones are not a problem, but obviously number twos might would need to take a little wander. And to park for 24 hours here is eight pound. I mean, you have to pay via app and there is a 10 pence um, surcharge on that. So it's cost me eight pounds and 10 pence to park up here overnight, which I'm real happy with. Um, and because there's so many vans here, but they're also spread out, I feel really comfortable. Like I don't have any concerns about stopping here for the night. And I have only paid for one night. So if tomorrow night I want to go to the campsite or home or I don't know, whatever. We can just do what we want. Anyway, on that note, I do need to go and find a loo. And I think lunch, it's lunchtime. So we'll go and see if we can find something yummy to munch upon. Uh, and at some point I need to find my spot in that field, but I think I'm happy to do that later. Time for lunch first. Well, that was a yummy lunch. Just come back to the van. 
I'm kind of a little bit set up for my afternoon. Oh gosh, it's really hot, hence my hair being up. I thought I'd make a coffee, but rookie error, I can either drink my coffee out of a plastic wine glass or the Aeropress Go cup, which does not look anything like a cup should look as far as I'm concerned. I suppose there is a third option. I could actually go to a charity shop across the road, literally two minute walk and buy a proper mug. Because obviously that's not going to work. It's probably going to melt and that. My brain does not like the idea. Ugh. When did I ever go camping with no mugs? Like, never. I was going to have my little chalky bar with my coffee, but I'm thinking now, do you know what? I probably need this to give me the energy to go back into town. It's all very peaceful out there and the way I'm looking, let me whiz you around. That's my total view. <laughs> Isn't that just heavenly? So I think you can see why I don't really want to go back where there's people and stuff. Okay, mission accomplished. I've bought this vessel that was 50p and I... So apparently this is the point where I realise I've actually been filming in slow-mo and it's just kicked in. Anyway, I went over to found a charity shop, found a mug. I actually think this is an Ikea uh, pot that you put your, like, your toothbrushes in. I don't think this is officially a mug, but guys, needs must. Anyway, I'm here I'm just peeling off the weird sticker and then I need to give it a damn good scrub and finally I can get a cup of coffee. The walk back down from the castle ruins kind of down to the track to get out of there if there's some really steep steps and unfortunately I've got an old knee injury that didn't like going down the steps so when I got down to the bottom um, it's quite a walk maybe half an hour or so walk back up into the village where the van was um, but it gets really really steep towards the end and my knee was done it was having none of it so I cheated on the way home and I got a lift in this like little uh, Land Rover bus kind of thing. I kind of felt like I was cheating but hey I'd spent a good couple of hours wandering around the castle so I definitely got my steps in for the day. I also had to stop and support a small business by buying some scampion chips and then I'm sat in the van eating my chips and this helicopter starts flying round and round the field that I'm in ends up parking literally the other side of the hedge um, these two guys get out hop over the gate and run off into town 
Um, and they've gone for, I don't know, half an hour, an hour or so. And apparently police cars and ambulances have also turned up in town. Um, so obviously something was going on, but luckily we were completely out of it. And by the time the guys came back to the helicopter, they had no passengers with them. So hopefully whoever was in distress was all OK. Good morning, everybody. So I slept like a baby. It was so, so quiet here. Really, really quiet. There was no road traffic noise. There was there was nothing apart from the dude in the van next door. <laughs> There's his door going again. He, uh, he was just emptying the dregs out of two cans of carling onto the grass. Um, so I think he had a little bit too much beer for his bladder to handle. So he did get up a few times during the night and he woke me up and then unfortunately I couldn't get back to sleep. So I was awake definitely for two hours, possibly for longer. Um, well, that's fine. So it's actually later than I was hoping. I was kind of hoping to be up for sunrise, but there was no way that was gonna to happen today. I thought I brought little oat pots, little jam jars with my breakfast kind of mixed in, but I'm damned if I can find them. So I'm going to have a coffee, I've got some um, melon for when I get peckish and then I think I'm going to have like a, a brunch in town just because. So I'm not entirely sure what my day is going to look like today. I am tempted to pack up, which the lazy side of me is going, Jane don't do that. I'm quite tempted to go to this place called St Nectan's Glen. Do I A take the lazy option and just hang around town today? got a video to edit I've bought some leather work so I could sit and do that just have a nice chilled day here in town town um, or do I pack up I don't like the thought of packing up no I don't want to do that I just want to stay here I think and it would be good to get that video done because that's now a week late oh and I've got to do another job for a magazine as well yeah Let's have a work day. Okay, lazy option it is, and works for me. Yeah, oh, that's a good feeling. The video is uploading. It's done. Hurrah. Oh, it's a little bit rainy outside. It's gone really chilly as well, which I'm quite enjoying, if I'm being very honest. So I'm just gonna get this up. Um, get it up on YouTube which won't take me very long and then I think so long as it's not like properly raining by then I think I'd like to go out for another walk so I want to go and see the island where the castle is from further around the coast there's like a headland that sticks out so I'd really like to go and have a wander up there I've never been up there before um, we obviously we saw it yesterday while I was on the island but yeah I'm quite looking forward to that but I just need to do this and get this put to bed because it's taken too long. Um, and if you're watching this video with me talking about the Hello Autumn Early September and Our Little Farm in Cornwall video is the one that I'm uploading, I got really emotional writing that. I'm getting really emotional talking about writing that. I have no idea why, but it really, I enjoyed writing that script for that video even though it took me like over two weeks to actually work out what the heck I was going to do with all these random clips um, of a farm in kind of autumn time. But I love it. Can you tell? <laughs> I have just gone to put something in the bin. <laughs> you won't believe what is currently going on in my van. Let me flip you around so you can see the reality of hashtag van life. Oh my god. Um, what the freaking hell is going on? Uh, buddy, you're in a camper van. Holy crap, he's huge. That's hilarious. Holy moly. Seriously, forget all those pretty young girls in their camper vans with their asses hanging out and the back doors open with the beautiful beach or the mountains or whatever. This, this is what sells van life. <laughs> Seriously. God, he's pooed on my bin. Ew. No slug was harmed in the making of this video. Actually, he's got some melon juice all over his tummy now. I expect he'll like that. 
That is definitely a first for me. Well, that's me all home now and all snuggled up. And I might have brought Myrtle a new mug. Isn't it beautiful? And it's a nice little memory of my trip here. I just think that's so precious. What a gorgeous colour as well. I do have a mug fetish. I'm not going to lie. Right, my beautiful people, I think I'm going to end this video here. And I'm actually going to start editing it right now. So hopefully it'll be up really soon. So as always, thanks for hanging out with me and I will catch up with you in the next one.